Intel's next unit of computing is worth a look if you'd like a simple yet capable PC. The only problem is it's a kit computer, so it doesn't come with any RAM or a hard drive. We'll tell you what you need to know before you pull the trigger. Before you buy any components, you'll have to decide on the NUC itself. On the low end, there's the Celeron and Pentium powered models that sell for less than $200. They're only suited for the most basic PCs. The next step up is the Core i3 and i5 models. These have better integrated graphics and they bump the maximum RAM from 8 to 16 gigabytes. The i3 models retail for around 280, while i5 models start around 370. Then there's the king of all NUCs, the i7, which ships at about 475. It unfortunately isn't a quad core, but it does offer the highest clock speed of any NUC and bumps the integrated graphics up to Intel's Iris 6100. This model is also a bit larger than its peers. NUCs only have two RAM slots available, and you'll need to buy notebook RAM, so the overall price is going to be a bit more than a standard desktop configuration. Make sure you buy a matching set of memory, that is, two sticks of the same size and speed. All manufacturers sell these kits. We recommend sticking with basic 1333MHz DDR3 memory, as it provides the best bang for your buck. Once you have the RAM sorted, you'll want to turn to the hard drive. Depending on the NUC you buy, you'll either have the ability to install a 2.5-inch SATA hard drive and M.2 solid-state drive, or, in some smaller models, only the solid-state drive. The M.2 SSD is the way to go if performance is your priority. We recommend Samsung's 850 EVO. You can grab a 250GB version of this drive for $120. Now, if mass storage is your goal, you can supplement the M.2 drive with a mechanical drive or select a larger, less expensive SSD. Western Digital's WD5000 series is a good choice among the mechanical options, as it offers 500 gigabytes for just 55 bucks and decent speeds. Those looking for a solid state can go with the SATA version of Samsung's 850 EVO. That's all the hardware, but there is something else you'll need, and that's an operating system. Fortunately, Microsoft has given you a new option, the Windows 10 Insider program. Enrollment is free. The catch is you must continually upgrade your system as each build will eventually expire. If you don't want to do that, Linux is also an option. You can buy a retail copy of Windows, of course. Note that whatever you choose, you'll have to obtain a .iso file and install via a USB stick, or use an external optical drive for installation, as there's no NUC with an internal optical option. That's it. You can now buy and properly outfit your NUC. My personal recommendation, if you want maximum bang for your buck, is to buy the NUC 5i5RYK. 8GB of DDR3 1333MHz RAM and a 250GB Samsung 850 EVO M.2 hard drive. This configuration will work out to about $530 if you use the free Windows Insider program, making the NUC a very affordable yet surprisingly capable PC.